Apple. So some of you guys may be familiar with some of Apple's laptops. You know, you have the grey one, the white one, the darker grey one. Apple's laptops, and especially some of their older ones like this one, they're mostly associated with being clean, pristine, white machines. Kind of like this particular laptop that I have here. This is a 2001 iBook G3 Snow because, you know, this is the boring iBook G3. They really should bring back colours of the MacBook that aren't, like, gold, pink. This one's so old that it has a latch. Yeah, how many Apple laptops these days have latches on them? But of course, Apple did their latches differently, because if we close it... Oh, it's magnetic! Whoa! Ugh, yellow. Yeah, the keyboards on these things would always yellow. I found this thing for 20 bucks on Facebook Marketplace, and honestly, it was kind of a bargain. But I think it's mostly because of this disgusting yellow keyboard. And of course, the battery in it's dead. What's to be expected? This thing came out in 2001. To expect the battery to work in this is just... Like, come on, man. But that's not what we're talking about today. In 2007, Apple was making the polycarbonate MacBook. And at that same time, they released something that they don't do very often. Black. This is the black version of the 2007 polycarbonate MacBook. And these things did not sell. Mostly because of the way Apple did their pricing. These things were $200 more just for the color alone. Uh, it's a little dirty, but I found this thing for 100 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Managed to talk them down to 80 bucks. Not sure if I paid too much for it, but who cares? It's a black frickin' MacBook. Ooh, magnetic latch. All right, let's plug her in. You have to pull this thing out and you have to unwind it. Look at that, we got the black power board. Everything here matches besides this charger. How cool would it have been if they provided a black charger with this thing? All right, plug her in. Here's something that you just don't see on modern MacBooks. MagSafe! Oh, there we go, focused. This thing is honestly incredible. It let you plug in your MacBook and charge it with magnets. And then if someone came and tripped it over, it wouldn't take down the whole laptop. It'd just pop right out of your laptop instead. Let's plug her in. Just like that. Light's still not- Oh, there it is, hello! And yes, yeah, so I have to plug this thing in because the battery on this is also dead. That disk drive is really loud when you boot it up. Hmm, there's a user account in here called admin. Oh, what's the password? Hold on, let me, let me, let me give it a... Oh, I got it, I got it! If we go into about this Mac, you can see this thing is running Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard. And you can see the specs here if you care about those. We'll be taking a look at uh, some of the memory later when we take this thing apart slightly. So what can we do on this thing I hear you cry? Well, how about the entire Adobe suite, but it's like CS5, but let's open up Photoshop. Oh wait, here's Photoshop. Let's open up Photoshop now. Oh, could you believe it? This is the exact same thing that we have today. Photoshop has barely changed, man. Still the same bug-ridden shitty software it is now. Alright, let's make some artwork. Let's go File. Let's go New. Yeah, this will do. So let's try making some uh, fancy artwork here. We can go, I don't know, we can go to the rectangle tool. We can draw a rectangle. Ah, there we go. Uh, we can even change the color. Oh, this is the same color picker we have now. Oh my god. Uh, we can get a red. Oh, that changed the color of the... <sighs> okay, that's fine. Uh, we can make another one. And then we can just change the color here. This trackpad, honestly, it's not that bad compared to 2007 standards, but oh my god, modern trackpads are a godsend compared to this thing. Look, look how tiny it is! Look how tiny it is! I'll show it in comparison to my Surface Laptop 3, which is my daily driver laptop. As you can see, look at the size of the trackpad on this thing compared to this MacBook. You can kind of see that these two laptops actually kind of look pretty similar to each other. Just kind of goes to show just how ahead of its time this kind of design was. Alright, enough about that tangent. We've got artwork to create. We'll get a- we'll get a bit of a green in here. Ooh yeah. Let's see what else we can get. This is very abstract, guys. This is gonna appear in a museum soon. Alright, we'll get a bit of a blue here. Wow, what an amazing bit of artwork. Let's see if we can export it the same way. Uh, file. Export. Oh. Oh, okay, that, that's a little bit different. Uh, I think we're gonna have to do save as then. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, that's how you do it. Then you go PNG. And you save it as, I don't know, 
Bruh. No, don't interlace your photos. <laughs> Alright, so I think I saved it in the documents uh, folder. Ah, yes, here it is. There we go. That's that's our bit of artwork. This doesn't have multi-touch on the trackpad, so I have to use zoom up here. That's another thing that we take for granted these days. Also, I have this other one that I made in a previous take of this video. I personally think this one looks way better. As much as I love this masterpiece, we're not going to be saving it today. Bye-bye. All right, what else have we got here? Ooh, Safari. Well, it seems to be loading Apple's website pretty okay. It's a little bit broken, actually. Let's go to YouTube. Oh, there's a bookmark right here. How convenient. Oh, it's gonna complain that my browser's not supported. That's fine. We're just gonna remind me later. Oh yeah, it's loading. I don't know if this thing's gonna work. It's definitely connected to the internet. Oh, fuck off Mac OS. While that's doing its thing, we can take a look at what else we have on here. Oh yes, Microsoft Office 2004. Here we've got Microsoft Word, and as you can see, the previous owner arranged these icons in a very fancy manner. I do like this, actually. All right, here's Microsoft Word 2004. All right, let's see what we can make. We can make a list wizard, a mail message, a PowerPoint presentation, Oh, we can make a web page. Let's make a web page. All right, and this is really funky. Yeah, it's a little hard to type with my current setup. Uh, spell check still here. Let's see. Uh, potato. Yeah. All the spell checks work. That's good. Actually, it worked in Windows 95. What am I expecting? Yeah, I don't think YouTube is actually going to load this. Surprisingly. Who could have thought? Who would have thought that YouTube wasn't going to load this? Actually, I think... I think there's a copy of Firefox on here. Yes! We've got Firefox and Chrome on here. I think Firefox might work a bit better. It's, fuck off, Safari. Fuck off. No, 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 no. I don't want to add it to the reading list. All right, that's enough of that. All right, let's go to youtube.com. Whoops. It's really hard to type with this setup. Look at that old Google logo. I haven't seen that in years, man. Yeah, 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 whatever. I don't, I don't care. Remind me later. And it's loading. Yeah, I don't think uh, Firefox is going to work with this either. All right, let's try Chrome then. What the actual hell is Microsoft Entourage? Uh, Google Chrome, gimme youtube.com. Please update your browser. Hmm, who would have thought that my browser would be outdated? Will it run? That is the question. Well, we have more of these little blank squares than last time. Because I know YouTube is designed to run on Chrome the best. It actually loads. It actually loads, yes. I mean, it's probably because, you know, YouTube's owned by Google and this is Google Chrome, so yeah. Oh, what version of Chrome is this? This is version 43. I think we're up to version 90 now or something. What year was this? 2015. So this was last updated in 2015. All right, now back to the specs of this computer. Here we have four gigabytes of memory. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Here's a good time to demonstrate MagSafe. If you trip over the cord, well, it doesn't send your computer flying, and yeah, the battery in this thing's dead, it was just a good way to show that. To help me take this thing apart, we're going to be pulling out the silicone mat. So if you guys don't know, Apple's modern MacBooks are notorious for being absolute pains to work on. The measures Apple has gone to stop people from repairing their own devices is crazy. But back at this time, let me show you just how easy it was. To take out the battery, all you're going to need is a $1 coin. You just go here, oops, slot that in, this is actually too thick, I'm going to need something else. Let's try 20 cents instead. All you do is you slot it in here, you turn it to the unlock key, as you can see, it uh, pops out, and all you have to do is take out the battery. And there it is. It's uh, blowing out a little bit, which is never a good sign. Ugh, yeah, this thing's going to blow one day. Compare how easy that was to how hard it is to take it out on a modern MacBook. Like, I would never even want to attempt that. In fact, Apple back in the day so kindly gave you instructions on how to take out the RAM, which we'll be doing today. So in order to get in the RAM, we're going to have to take off this little bracket here that goes all the way around. This is going to be fun. Come on, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Once this is out, 
all we have to do is take this bracket out. And you might notice these little latches here. Like that. It's so freaking easy compared to other laptops. As you can see guys, this is two gigabytes of RAM. I don't know why I'm showing you this. Come on, get in. Maybe one day I'll try doing a RAM upgrade on this, but next I'm gonna show you the storage. Yeah, there we go. And then here's how to remove the storage. You just grab this and pull it out. And as you can see here, we've got the original 160 gigabyte Fujitsu hard drive. Maybe one day I'll upgrade this thing to an SSD, but for now, I really can't be bothered, so we're just gonna chuck this back in. And you gotta make sure this thing's folded underneath so you can easily pull out again. Oh, these fucking RAM things are in the way. There we go. Hey, all right, we gotta put this bracket in now. And now, the final step to repairing this black 2007 polycarbonate MacBook. Well, you grab the battery, line up the pins, and you just... Well, you don't slam it in, but... Well, even... Yeah, that doesn't actually do anything. Well, then what you're meant to actually do is you're meant to hold this down, and then, uh, turn... Whoops. And then turn. Yeah, and there we go, fully repaired. And if I press this battery indicator here, you can see that the battery is dead. No signs of life whatsoever. So yeah, this is the 2007 Black Polycarbonate MacBook, and this is the first video on this channel. Frogford, Frogford, I don't know how to say the name either. Say it however you want. Now, the main videos I'm going to be putting out on this channel, for now, this is just a little dank pod style video just because well you know I, I like his content I want to give it a try myself but there is going to be a variety of different types of content this sort of like tabletop setup will be used for uh videos where I'm like reviewing things I've actually got a couple things coming that I'm going to review which are pretty exciting so definitely do tune into that I've got other types of videos coming too uh, it's going to be very exciting I don't know exactly what this channel is going to be but that's what we're going to find out because we're all going to experiment together all right so that's the end of the video thanks for watching I'm <laughs> sorry.